Hi everybody, this is Crystal Saw. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. I'm doing just fine and I'm so happy to be here with you today. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of yarn that I got from, maybe you all have heard of him because I've mentioned him quite frequently, Daniel from the Paw Ply Yarn Company. He actually dyes yarn for me um, on occasions um, in my likeness and then, you know, um, you guys have probably seen it. But anyways, this yarn he is was from his personal shop. He does have a, a shop, a Paw Paw yarn. Uh, I'll put the I'll put a shop uh, link below. But I bought some yarn from him, and I want to show you what it is. He's a very good yarn dyer, and I actually like his podcast that he has. So let's look and see what we got. So he is based in the UK. Um, so. He has something right now on his call on his site called the Roy Castle Lung Cancer Foundation. Expect better. www.roycastle.org. Um, so when you buy, he has like a, a pack. Uh, Roy, it's like the Roy Castle Foundation um, pack that you can buy on his site, and the, some of the proceeds go to this charity right here. So. Um, I'll tell you, I, I think it comes with a surprise hank of yarn. I'm not certain, but my internet's not working at this house, so I can't tell you anything about it. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I can find an invoice. There's no invoice. All right, so anyways, you can go to the site and check out prices on there. Remember, they are going to be in pounds if you are in the U.S., and you can convert them to U.S. dollars. So... So obviously the Roy uh, Castle Foundation, uh, Lung Cancer Foundation comes with this bag. So this was part of the, the kit, the, the Roy Castle kit. And let's see what else. I did order some yarn and then I ordered this uh, charity kit. So let's see. Sorry, my internet's not working and I'm working on the lines around my house. So um, I'm just recording on my phone right now. So let's see what I got. I'm super excited. Oh, 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 okay. So this was a special edition that he had for his uh, anniversary, podcast anniversary for being, um, uh, he had an anniversary going on and he dyed some special yarn for it. And it's called Oslo. That's the name of his dog, his little mascot for um, his channel. And uh, these are so my colors. So this is a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, and it is a DK weight, which is a lightweight number three. So, so pretty. Those are so my colors. Um, I'm gonna knit up a scarf and a hat here in just a second before this video is over on my knitting machine because I want a scarf and a hat made out of it, but I'm gonna do it on my knitting machine so you guys can see what it looks like worked up. But this is the Oslo yarn. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know if he has any more left or if he'll be dying anymore. You could always ask him, but that is gorgeous. I love the oranges and browns in it, but again, those are my colors. DK weight. Beautiful, beautiful Oslo yarn. He always wraps them up on this nice paper here, and it says thank you on it. Okay. Um... Wait one second here. Okay. Like piece. This one is called Layla. Laylia. I'm not certain if I'm saying that right, but that's the name of that one. Um, and that is gorgeous. That screams my daughter, Evelyn Rose, all over it. Look at that. Now, this is the same. It is the uh, DK Superwash Merino Nylon Blend. Oh, that is beautiful, Daniel. Good job on those. So, I got two hanks of those to make Evelyn something, more than likely. Oh, those are pretty. She'll love those. She'll love those. She will love those. And then, what's this one? Oh, I thought this one was so pretty, too. So, um, I think he still has this on his site. I'm not certain. You guys just check out his site and see what he has available. Um, 
he does shop updates too every once in a while with new colors and old colors and so this one is called woodland friends this is a this is a four weight and it's a hundred percent super wash merino so it's about 180 81 yards oh, i love the colors of that one that one is beautiful i did get two hanks of that so i have enough to make like if i wanted to make a hat and scarf so i could do that since it's a four weight isn't that pretty good job daniel on that one woodland friends four weight Mm. he always just does such a good job at dyeing and yes if you guys are interested he's going to be dyeing me some more yarn i'm going to be adding in some new colors to it i'm not going to say anything in case you don't know if you watch my vlog you already know i did get a new puppy he is a standard poodle and his name is doug and he's going to have a yarn dyed in his likeness in case you you know how poodles are kind of curly and he's a brown so anyways that's just a teaser for an upcoming one of the new colors that i'm going to add to my collection <laughs> but anyways i gotta get daniel on the phone and talk to him about that first um and then this one. Oh, i can't wait to see this one this is hot pink i believe <laughs> whoa look at these those are so bright that they are glaring off my camera they look neon look at them now that is some pretty yarn bubble bomb i mean look at the glare from them because they're so they are very very neon very very pretty again another color i like neon pink evelyn will love this color and i love the splash of black in it it breaks up the neon in it those are gorgeous and this is also uh this is the uh Aaron weight which is a four weight so it's 100 percent super wash merino approximately 100 and 80 yards so i got two of those as well they are so bright and beautiful i might need a couple more of those those are pretty <laughs> okay now this is i think from the Roy now this is there's one hank in here wrapped up i'm assuming that this might be what you get from the roy castle lung count uh lung cancer foundation kit so you get the sack he has these for sale on his website because the proceeds go to that charity part of the proceeds and then um i got a bracelet here that says the roy castle lung cancer foundation and here's the sack of candy i don't know he could have just thrown that in for my kids <laughs> i have no idea what that's for or he could have thrown it in maybe it just goes with his orders i have no idea sometimes daniel has been known to put candy with his orders and sometimes uh he'll send candy for my kids or you know stuff like that so i have no idea about that one but thank you daniel for that that and here is oh so i got this nice sack the bracelet and then i got this pin which i will pin on one of my jackets i always take pins or usually the pins i'll pin on my jackets because i have tons of hoodies tons and then uh, any stitch markers I get, like Freddie Mercury or anything like that, I'll put them in and I'll use them as zipper pulls. Because some people send me Freddie Mercury stitch markers. I don't use stitch markers. I use yarn for stitch markers. So I always use them as zipper pulls. But this I'll put on one of my jackets. I have Freddie Mercury pins on my jackets too. Hey, and the Paul Paul Yarn Company pin on my jacket as well. <laughs> okay, and this, let's see what it is. Yeah, I know you're getting rid of that Christmas wrapping paper, aren't you? I don't blame you. I uh, wrapped up... Oh, this is tissue paper. I wrapped up my kids' birthday presents for Christmas <laughs> wrapping paper. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. This is called King Moon Racer. It's 70... That's very beautiful. I love that. I like yellow a lot. And look, it's got a little bit of, of orange and browns. Or rust, actually. A little bit of rust colors and some black and brown mix well, that might just be brown and some rust i don't know but that's beautiful so this is probably what came in my uh roy castle lung cancer foundation kit um it's 75 super wash merino 25 nylon 225 meters and it is a dk weight that's gorgeous yarn daniel that would be nice to have make a material for me because that's a beautiful beautiful yarn so that is what i got i I would have, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna make up a hat and scarf on my knitting machine real quick and show you. I mean, it'll take me a minute, but, well, a little bit, but I'll be back in just a second because I'm gonna pause the video. So that's what I got. I It'd be hard for me to choose a favorite, but these Oswalds are very, very pretty. 
this neon is super neon it's so pretty i love every single hank this time i always love every single hank of daniels but usually i can choose a favorite this time i absolutely cannot choose a favorite each hank is my favorite they all i love for their own ways i love this yellow it's so gorgeous with that uh, rust color in it i love this pink and purple and evelyn is going to love this and i absolutely love the the uh bubble bomb that is super super bright and i just the black in it breaks it up nicely it's beautiful and i love the green and brown woodlands friends and i absolutely adore the oswald and usually i would say this is my favorite because of the colors of it but i love them all the same i can't choose a favorite this time they're all my favorites give me a second and let's see how this oswald yarn looks worked up all right here is my beautiful hat and scarf set that i made out of the uh daniel's uh oswald uh, i'm sorry oslo yarn now it's super pretty now i do not know like i said the internet is not working at this house at the moment they're working they're working on it so uh i i can't tell you if he has any more if he doesn't maybe he'll die up some more um but yes so two hanks this was done on a knitting machine uh, people always ask i do have uh two addy knitting machines and a centro I use them both, but this was actually done on the Centro. It really just depends on. I, I prefer the Addy 100%, but uh, the Centro was right here, so I just used it. <laughs> so, but uh, yes, if everybody asks about that, um, if you, I always use my Addy whenever. I don't know why. I really don't know why I didn't use it this time. I, it was just Centro was here. Addy's over here. It was just easier. But yes, two of the Hanks made this beautiful. It's about nine foot long on a knitting machine. It's a double layer two uh, scarf on a nice merino. And about a half a cake made this. This is a double layer beanie. So, you know, you wouldn't need that much if you were real, if you were going to knit it by hand or crochet it by hand and not use, use a knitting machine. You know, single layer would be fine. But these are double layered. I put pom-poms at the end. I thought these pom-poms matched quite well. I love it. And I love the hat. Um, it's a perfect fit for me. The hat is. Nice job, Daniel. I'm going to probably, I don't know if I'll keep this one for myself. It took a uh, total, like I said, two hanks in entirely for a double layer scarf on the knitting machine. Um, and then a half of a cake for the double layer beanie, which you can see fits just like a regular beanie. I could have made it longer and made it slouchy or make it made it fold up, but I try to make it fit like a regular beanie because that's my preference is the regular beanie style. Love it, Daniel. Gorgeous, gorgeous colorway. Very nice long scarf. So I think I got a lot out of the two and a half cakes that I that I got, um, or two and a half uh, balls. I caked them up, that's why I'm saying cake. Two and a half uh, hanks that I bought, uh, or used, two and a half hanks. I think I might take this other half a cake and knit um, another a hat, maybe a little bit of a slouchy hat that I can fold up. I have enough to do that. That way I'll have um, sets for all. So what do you guys think I should do with this? Keep it, donate it give it away in a giveaway I don't know it's beautiful though I really really love it it's so soft so that's it this is what Daniel's uh, Oslo yarn looks like knitted up beautiful beautiful stuff I just can't believe how perfect my palms match I got these palms off Amazon they're fake fur they're not real so thank you everybody who uh, is watching I appreciate you guys watching my videos um, and don't forget to check out all my other videos all my other tutorials that I have um i'm in love with this color <laughs> make more daniel make more all right i'll see you guys on my next video okay bye guys